So it's so nice to find a stone yard like this that has such a huge selection and land with Scully stone over here. So we saw this stone over here and it's got that nice clean edge. And by the time we frame it out on this side and this side, it'll actually shrink down quite a bit, but that could be the start of one waterfall before it drops, you know, several times down. And then we've got some of these other beautiful stones. It's gonna be hard to set them though without an excavator. A little bit. Yeah, so let's go figure and out Chris. that problem. <laughs> and Chris. So we have the stone truck dream team. <laughs> We've got buckets, we've got pry bars, we've got rakes, we've got shovels. We had to make a little stop over at Home Depot. I've got a bag full of straps and hopefully better shoes than those. I even see this one marked out here and that must be for a fender over a wheel yeah, or something? Over this, over this fender on this wheel here, arched like the one you can see on the back, arched like that. Oh my gosh. Most of the stone has to be sort of hammered in place when you measure and take the final measurements. And every single stone here has been hammered by hand. Hammered by, it's <laughs> absolutely amazing. Yeah. And your attention to detail, like the Ford sign in here and this is a uh, marble that's marble yeah that's marble yeah. the little hinges yeah. for the door I mean it's it's absolutely yeah. amazing <laughs> I thought you had a cut <laughs> just grabbing some supplies the local Home Depot here might not be the best car for building ponds but it sure does look nice <laughs> so we've got this insulation board going down inside the bed of the truck just to give us some extra protection. We got some shovels, some buckets, some fittings, hammer drill. How many more trips do you think we'll be making back here? Six. Six? <laughs> Gosh, we're only here for three more days. <laughs> it's two times. <laughs> Next stop, Stoneyard. What? <laughs> How to take a Toyota Highlander to its fullest April. potential. That's right. <laughs> you got it. Who said it's not an SUV? All right, so Sunday's our first day. We're back here in Midland, Odessa, Texas. We're getting it with Chris Miller, the stone truck guy, and things quite haven't gone quite this far. Right? We were saying it never ever does, but we're missing an excavator. We have a Highlander full of equipment this and everything. This is our most trusty. <laughs> <laughs> but it does give us a chance to come out here to Scully Stone and tag some awesome rock. So we're gonna meet the owner out here, hopefully come through, tag some different rock, and then go at it hard, maybe later tonight, definitely tomorrow and the next day. Let's go see some rock. So it's so nice to find a stone yard like this that has such a huge selection and land with Scully Stone over here. He's actually been in business 27 years at the same location and he knows his stuff and you can tell he's a rock hound because he said each one of these he loves too. <laughs> but it's nice to have this selection. So we saw this stone over here and it's got that nice clean edge. And by the time we frame it out on this side and this side, it'll actually shrink down quite a bit, but that could be the start of one waterfall before it drops, you know, several times down. And then we've got some of these other beautiful stones. Really, we're just looking at like the lichens and, and the faces of them, but also the size of them. We're looking for stuff with a variety of sizes. So this is a seven foot rock over here, but only 12 to 15 inches tall. And then we got some of these that are 24 to 36 inches tall. And we come over here and we've got some nice flat ones where we've got some stream stuff. And then out front, we picked some stuff that was closer to 48 to 50 inches. So some really, really nice rock here. It's gonna be hard to set them though without an excavator. A little bit. Yeah, so let's go figure out that problem. <laughs> and, Chris. and so like Greg says, all business is is fixing problems. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have them? <laughs> all right. So I am back in sunny Odessa, Texas. This time there's no snow. It's not that much warmer. Well, it's actually a, a hell of a lot warmer. It's about 40, 45 degrees. But I've got a team with me. I've got Chris Hansen from right. Team Aquascape. I got Chris Suing with Nature's Recreations. We're all kind of riding on fumes because we just finished building Chris's one-of-a-kind custom creation out there in the Sandbox Studio. And then I've got April from American Waterscapes out here with us too. But we're here. Let me show you the progress that Chris Miller has made, the stone truck guy himself. And uh, we'll get him kind of talking about what's going on. The last time I was here, this was all covered in snow. There obviously wasn't a stone truck. You can see he's been busy, busy, busy getting all that done. So the stone truck is in there. We're gonna get a waterfall coming out of the bed of that. Cut all of this away in here. Get another big waterfall here. 
and then someplace back in that area get a sign with another waterfall coming in. So we've got a lot of work to do and unfortunately I don't see a machine. Hey April, hey. thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So we have the stone truck dream team. <laughs> <laughs> We've got buckets, we've got pry bars, we've got rakes, we've got shovels. We had to make a little stop over at Home Depot. I've got a bag full of straps and hopefully better shoes than those. We'll get started here. We're gonna get our GoPro set up and thanks just so much for joining us. Let's go talk to Chris really quick. Chris, you got room in there for me? Hop on in, man. Enjoy. <laughs> get the wheel. over here oh so my gosh. you and Chris April and I went to go grab the machine which was kind of an ordeal but we got it it's here but you guys have been working feverishly on what over here well, I don't think we have a fever okay so <laughs> yeah in COVID times let's not talk yeah. like that <laughs> so we're really just trying to get this liner in here it's a little tricky so we've got a liner that has to come through that hole then up the backside into the cab where Chris is at the reason we have to do it that way is when water comes out of that window if we don't have a liner back behind the bed of the cab have there any wind and everything else is going to splash that water all over the place and we need to be able to catch it so we got to get that liner back up behind it so it's a little tricky you can see we're using insulation board yep. all over the place the main reason we're using that is just protection there's no way we can put that rubber liner up against this then rock on top of our liner and expect it to be safe so we give it a nice good cushion this will ensure that we don't get any holes and the liner going up inside of there will ensure we don't have leaks yep. so it's just a very tedious project there's not room for more than really one person in there and I, I bet I bet you guys tried to get both of you in there we didn't tried, you? We tried. I kept saying I think we can but, <laughs> but no we're in here doing this and so then you and April are going to come down you got to get both the blocks back over here yep. you guys are kind of laying this out we're going to dig all this back to about here okay the idea is and then a giant drop right here down into our 16 block reservoir over in here. Cool. And that's not the only part, that's not what's starting off the waterfall. Oh, we, so got, more, we got more stuff all happening here, but we can't awesome. really get on that until we get all that cleared up. Yep. Today, I think Chris and I really want to get this finished yep. over here, so we'll do what we need to do to get that finished. And if we can get our reservoir in today, I'd feel good tomorrow, then start setting boulders. Cool. Well, let's go. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, Chris, <laughs> it's good to see you again. <laughs> Under better conditions. You look like a stonemason. I break rocks. You break rocks for a living. Yeah. So when you told me you had a lot of this prefab back at your place, I kind of thought that maybe some of these little curves in here were already done, but you're actually out here like chipping away. Like I even see this one marked out here and that must be for a fender over a wheel yeah, or something. Over this, over this fender on this wheel here, arched like the one you can see in the back, arched like that. Oh my gosh. Uh, many of these pieces were cut at home and the, the features like this, hinges and yep. windows and things cut ahead of time but most of the stone has to be sort of hammered in place when you measure and take the final measurements and every single stone here has been hammered by hand hammered by, it's <laughs> absolutely amazing yeah. and your attention to detail like the ford sign in here and this is a uh, marble that's marble yeah that's marble the little hinges yeah. for the door i mean it's it's absolutely yeah. amazing it's a portrait of uh, client's actual truck and uh, bring it out when it's all done. Oh, that's side great. Side, that's uh, great. Images of it. Well, it looks incredible. And more importantly, Chris, like last time I was here with you, the weather was a little, a little different. Horizontal snow. Negative temperatures. Seven below zero. Seven below zero. Never happened here in the history of the place. Oh my gosh. So we got lucky. Yeah, we got it's lucky. a lot better. Today's in the 50s or early 60s. It's great. I think tomorrow's supposed to be in the 40s, but still better than at home. And then the day after that, I think it's supposed to be. Yeah. Well, it looks incredible. Thanks so much for inviting us to come out oh, here and do the water part of this. Yeah, it. it's great to see you again. All right, Chris, what do you need? Elbow. <laughs> gonna come back in and underneath this was very tricky so Chris Miller left us a hole down in here we were able to figure that out get this up and through here back up through here we'll get our spillway in here we'll make one more trip to Home Depot we'll try to find a piece of porcelain or something that sheet style fall. We'll come in here, line all this. We got our liner anchored to the tailgate back over in here. The liner actually comes down, it's glued and then anchored down into here. That guy right there, his name's Chris. No? 
What's Chris? What's Chris? Oh, this Chris. Oh, this guy. Okay, this Chris. <laughs> I was like, what Chris? We have three Chris's. Basically, he did this whole thing by himself. He was down there digging, 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 swinging the axe. We've got 16 large opera clubs. We've got our pumper balls. We're really ready to start setting boulders. You ready? Okay, let's go. Let's talk about the They come over here empty handed and, well, April, doing all the heavy lifting per usual.